Hey everyone, this is a quick rundown of the mid-journey updates from December. There were two major releases in December. The first of those was Patchwork. Patchwork is a new world narrative brainstorming tool. It integrates Midjourney's new Patchwork AI and their image generation models to drive creation of elements such as characters, events, places, and factions. You can use Patchwork to create a narrative for a story, a role-playing game, or D&D campaign, or world building in general. You can even set a specific style reference or personalization profile to be used for all images created within your world. Patchwork is a different workflow, and this is considered a research preview. There is a lot of development coming in 2025 for this tool. If you're interested in trying it out, be sure to check out my introductory tutorial video. The second major release in December was the new personalization system. Now you can create multiple personalization profiles and even create mood board based personalization. This is great, especially if you're working on projects that require different styles. Prior to this release, when you used personalization, you were using your global profile. Your global profile still exists and you can continue to rank image pairs to refine that profile but you can also create what's called a standard profile, which is generated after you rank a new set of at least 40 image pairs. With this recent update, you no longer need to reach 200 ranked image pairs because it does a better job at learning your preferences more quickly. To create a mood board based profile, just click create mood board and add your images. Each new standard profile and mood board gets an alphanumeric code that you can use in your prompts. I love the new personalization options, so I hope you try them out. For more details on the new personalization system, be sure to check out my previous video. Quickly, I wanted to mention that bigger image grids with batch size 8 is still coming, although it sounds like this feature won't be available until V7 is released. This will not be the equivalent of submitting a prompt twice. Batch 8 requires a new interface on the website and will involve some sort of iterative process for the image generation. V7 is expected to be released around mid-January. There was an initial delay a couple of months ago, which meant they had to restart the training. V7 should be better at a lot of things, including prompt accuracy, text rendering, improved knowledge, and understanding both abstract and literal interpretations. It will also come with a major update to the character reference feature that will be more accurate and allow for multiple characters within a scene. If you are interested in some workarounds for multiple characters, I'll link a video down below. The V6 video model is also still a work in progress and should be released around the same time as the V7 image model. The Midjourney team is always interested in ideas and feedback from the community. To participate, go to tasks on the Midjourney website, scroll down and click rate ideas. Here you can submit and vote on ideas or check the leaderboard to see what the community is asking for most. As you can see, consistent characters and character development topics are at the top of the list right now. Midjourney is taking this to heart and we expect to see a much improved character reference after the V7 release. So that's it for our December roundup. For a look at Midjourney's entire year in review, including what we can expect to see in 2025, be sure to watch my next video. Lastly, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has watched my videos this year. And as a thank you for reaching 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube, I will be giving away a handful of paid memberships to my Patreon community. These include access to things like my monthly prompt collections, creative projects, video notifications, and all of my mid-journey guides, including my full SREF collection. To enter, just make sure that you join as a free member prior to Wednesday, January 8th. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, all the things. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.